Sometimes when you're out and about, you want to check the speed of your network. How fast is the internet here? Shoot. You want to see my screen, don't you? Normally, I would go to the website, uh, Google for speed test. You can even run a speed test inside Google now. There we go. I got my internet speed. This is the download speed and there's the upload speed. So if my videos are late, you know why? <laughs> Not because I'm lazy. This is going to be a baseline. All right. This is what I'm used to. But what if you don't want to do it this way? What if you don't want to use the UI or go to some website or search for stuff? You can just do this on command line. It's really fast and easy. I want to show you how to do this on a Mac, on Windows and Linux. Let's go. So here's terminal on a Mac. I don't have anything installed yet here, but I do have node installed. So node is a requirement because we're going to use an NPM package. NPM is node package manager. This is going to be a package that you can run. You'll see. Oh, if you don't know how to install node on a Mac, I got a video. I'll link to it down below. So we go NPM install. You can do install. Or you can just do I if you're really lazy. Dash G is global and command or the CLI is called speed test. Boom. There we go. We grabbed speed test. Now all we got to do is just run it. Speed test. Look at that. We got a ping. We got the download speed, which is lower than my UI. What's up with that? And the upload speed is lower. Hmm. This is the real reason why my videos are late. 633 down, 348 up. Pretty different than the UI numbers I got. Suspicious. All right, let's check out Linux and Windows too. I got Linux and Windows running on the same Mac using Parallels. So here's Windows. By the way, um, you can configure all the hardware for Windows and your virtual machines in general. Linux, Windows. And one of the things you can configure is network. So this is using the shared network or you can do network address translation. You can do host only all these other stuff you can do with your network to isolate it, the virtual machine. But right now it's just using the shared network. So same IP address. Now on Windows, I also have node installed and therefore I get NPM. When you install node, you get NPM for free. So use the same process. NPM install dash G speed test. Okay, I've already done that. So it's already there. Let's check it out. Speed test. Oh, it gets me again. This is a, a relatively new installation of Windows. And when you do that, you're going to have to set the execution policy. But let's see if we can get around that. Um, oh, this would be interesting. I have Ubuntu. Is this going to work? <gasps> yeah, this works. <laughs> so I have virtual Ubuntu inside of Windows as a virtual machine inside of a Mac. This is this is crazy. This is just insane. But I don't think I have Node installed here. No, I don't. So it tells me nicely how to get node installed. Let's do that. This is this is not part of the test. This is off the script, by the way. I wasn't going to do a virtual machine inside of a virtual machine. But what the heck? We'll compare it. What's my password? Oh, is that OK? NPM install dash G speed test. It's not working. Ah, forget it. Let's do this one. Command prompt is NPM working from here. Yeah, NPM install dash G. Oh, wait, I already installed it. It's just speed test from Windows. There it is. Now it works. So if you're using PowerShell, it's not just going to let you run it. You have to set the execution policy. We'll do that in a sec for those of you that are curious. But from command line, it runs just fine. It's okay. We don't need to worry about security when we're from command line. PowerShell is the only one that needs to worry about security, right? Okay, very different numbers again. Download 708, upload 278. I'm going to have to call my ISP on this one. So back in PowerShell, we can't run speed test is giving us this error. So we're going to go with set execution policy. I always forget what the heck it is. I think it's unrestricted. Unrestricted. Ugh. Windows, why you hate me? We need to run Windows PowerShell as administrator. So right click. Run as administrator. Yes. Now let's see if we can just do speed test here. No. So set execution policy on restricted. Yes. Speed test. There we go. Uh, hoops. My numbers are even lower on this one. I don't know what's going on here. This is just uh, making me very sad. 651, 267. Now let's go to Ubuntu. This is another virtual machine I got running here. And I do have node installed. Do I have node installed? I don't have node installed. Okay, so for Linux, you don't have to have node installed. You can install node and do the same thing I just did. But here's a different thing you can do for Linux. In other words, you don't need node, you can just install the app directly the CLI directly. And that's sudo apt install speed test CLI. I already did that. And then you just run speed test from the command line. And 
there it goes. Boom, download 652, upload 597. I'm still kind of curious though. What if I go directly to the speed test website, speedtest.net here. I'm gonna do it from this UI and see if this gives me any different results than Google. So this is pretty high, this is decent. Although I'm paying for one gig up and one gig down. So they're kind of skimming off the top if you ask me. So my upload speed is nearing 1000. It's pretty close, 936, 937. Why is it that the CLI is giving me such a difference? Let's do that again here from the command line. Huge difference there. Don't ask me. I'm just here to show you the tool, what's going on under the hood. Maybe somebody in the comments knows. If you do know, be kind enough to leave a comment down below to explain this mysterious phenomenon. But now you have a command line tool to find out, hey, what's my speed? There you go. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.